Hey guys, Wolfcryer here with yet another build for Season 7. This is for the Solo Monk as well as Group Play. Uh, very similar build to the Raymond Spirit Generator build, but with some twists to it. And this is the build that I am currently running to push my GRs and plan on continuing to run it for the remainder of this season. This is my Firestorm Spirit Generator build, utilizing the Raiment Generator set and your Shenlong's set. So, just like your normal, everyday, basic Raiment Spirit Generator build, you are going to be using the Shenlong Spirit set. Now, with this set, for every point of spirit you have, 1.5% damage increase to your spirit generators. And once you reach max spirit, which you're going to try to stay at max spirit as long as you can, as often as you can, all of your damage is increased by 150%. But you drain spirit, so that's why you utilize your Breath of Heaven Wave of Light. Now, on these weapons, you are looking for dex, you are looking for area damage, and the maximum secondary uh, maximum spirit that you can get on both of them. You are going to look for ancient weapons, obviously. On this one here, I wish I didn't have that 9%. I wish it was close to 1,000 vitality. Vitality and life per hit are very good options on these weapons as well, but you definitely want the area damage and as much maximum spirit as you can get on these as well as high damage. All right, you are also going to be using the six-piece set for Raiment of a Thousand Storms. You are going to wear five pieces plus the royal ring in your cube, so let's review these five. On your boots, you are looking for dex, vitality, movement speed, a secondary res, and then your last one can be the regen, or armor, your choice. On your pants, you are looking for dex, vite, secondary resistance, and damage to crippling wave. Okay, I really needed the resistances on this one, otherwise I would have rolled the damage. Okay, on your gloves, you are looking for crit chance, crit damage, area damage, and if you are lucky enough to get that quad, Attack speed is not bad. You are also looking for a secondary res. As much of your gear as possible, you want ancient so that you can start putting those Caldus and gems on. Next, you're going to wear the shoulders. You are looking for dex, vite, resistances, and 20% area damage. That is your goal with your shoulders. Um, I couldn't get the area damage because I needed the vite on these, but I do plan on working towards getting a piece that has 20% area damage on it. On your helm, you are looking for dex, vite as high as possible for both, 6% crit, and a secondary res for the gem you are utilizing, a cooldown gem, as high as you can get it, 12.5%. Then you are going to be running your spirit guards, fire skills, 20%, crit chance, 6%, Dex, Vite, Secondary Res, and you want to try to get as close to 40% as possible. Your Spirit Generators reduce your damage taken by 35%. It's 30 to 40, so try to get as close to 40% as you can. On your Raiment set, your Spirit Generators have a 25% increased attack speed and 100% increased damage, and with the 6-piece your spirit generators increase your dashing strike damage, that's negligible, and, but your dashing strike increases your spirit generator damage by 1250%, which is awesome, okay? And so you always want to keep your dashing strike up as much as possible. For your rings, you are going to be running a unity. You want crit chance, damage against elites, and preferably area damage or crit damage, um, but the dex is not bad, and neither is life on hit. You are also looking for a secondary res, and you want to make sure one of these is on your follower, 
with the relic that allows him not to die as well. That way you take 50% less damage, etc. Damage mitigation is very important with both this build and the normal Raymond Spirit Generator build because they are squishy builds. You will get one shot occasionally. It will happen. There's almost no way to stop that from happening. All right, for my second ring, there's a couple of options here. I use Convention of Elements, but currently this ring has amazing stats, but horrible, horrible increased damage. It's at 151 out of 150 to 200, but it's got a secondary res, it's got 20% area damage, crit chance, crit damage, which is what you are looking for on this ring. Now, on to the difference with this build. I am running Sun Wuko's two-piece set. Your damage taken is reduced by 50% while Sweeping Wind is active. So I'm running one piece. You can alternate all of these for the chest piece. You can use Sun Wuko's gloves or shoulders or whatever as long as you're wearing the amulet. On the amulet you are looking for crit chance, crit damage, fire damage, and a secondary resistance. That is your goal, preferably on an ancient. On your chess piece, you are looking for dex, bite, reduced damage from elites, and a secondary res. On your gear, you're going to be using diamonds on all of them for the resistances. Very, very important. I'm also running in Kayashiro Soul. Sweeping Wind gains two stacks. Every second it does not deal damage to enemies. So, my sweeping wind never falls off. I think in 45-50 rifts that I've done, it has fallen off once. And that was because I was just running through mobs uh, without hitting anything. But, it's always up. And when you first enter a GR, and every time you revive after death, you have enough spirit to cast this immediately. So that is when you do it. As soon as you enter a rift, you cast this. It stays on. 50% damage reduction all the time. You do not have to worry about hitting that cyclone strike because it is always up and it is always 50%. Um, now with this build, you lose the Travelist Pledge Compass Rose set, but when I play the Generator build, I am a lot more mobile than most people maybe so I am bouncing around a lot my movement is crazy so it's very rare unless I'm on the Rift Guardian that I benefit from the full 100% bonus from that set for the damage and I'm dashing all over the place so as far as the damage reduction it is also negligible because I can dash out of anything for the most part, and my issue is more when I stop to try to gain that damage bonus. So, you lose that, but you gain the damage for Sweeping Wind Firestorm. 315% weapon damage as fire, which is affected by this 150% uh, damage bonus, as well as your hundred to a hundred and twenty five percent damage bonus on your belt so this is dealing a decent little chunk of damage as well oh, yeah? as your spirit generators and in the cube you are running your royal ring as i discussed you are running your depth diggers which gives your primary skills hundred percent more damage and all these are multiplicative which is amazing um and your flying dragon which same as the normal spirit generator uh, build, you chance to double your attack speed. So you get to, to close to the 5% attack speed, which is amazing. And that's when you want to be making sure you're dealing massive damage and keeping your breath of heaven up. All right, so that is the gear for the gems. You're looking at Stricken because Stricken is amazing with this build. Because your spirit generators apply it so fast, so does your sweeping wind, and you just melt rift guardians. You are looking for Bane of the Trapped, which increases your damage to all mobs under control impairing effects, 
and this is a control impairing effect. So, you are also running your simplicity strength as high as you can get all these gems. That increases the damage of your spirit generators once again by a multiplier. Your spirit generators are the main source of damage with a decent little chunk coming from your sweeping wind and this build definitely allows you to be more mobile because the build requires it. Both builds require it. So in my opinion it is definitely a preference issue and I am going with this build this season. It's definitely viable. In group play you are going to want to switch out your rings to focus and restraint which is going to double your damage all the time on both your spirit generators and your sweeping wind. It is going to put out more damage in my opinion than the normal raiment generator set when in group play. That is my opinion because you are adding your sweeping wind damage on top of everything and you do not lose any damage bonus because you are using your focus and restraint. Um, now onto the skills. You are using Epiphany Desert Shroud that is going to give you more damage mitigation. 50% reduced damage taken while active and it allows you to bounce around etc. Um, Dashing Strike Radiance 15% increased attack speed for 4 seconds after using Dashing Strike and you are going to dash at least every 5 seconds in my opinion. Sweeping Wind Firestorm. This is another damage bonus as well as a damage mitigator. And this because of your Kayashiro Soul and the fact that you are a melee class monk is always going to be up 100% as long as you pop it as soon as you get up or get into a GR. This is always up. No more worries about hitting that Cyclone Strike every 6 seconds which is lowering your DPS because now instead of auto attacking you are hitting your Cyclone Strike so there's a second every six seconds that you are not dealing damage. Now you will be, especially in group play if you have a support monk pulling stuff in for you. This is going to be so much better than you trying to fight him for control of the mobs. Solo play, you're going to want to use Mantra of Salvation Agility. I use pers Perseverance right now because my resists are kind of low but agility is the better option and I was just kind of testing some stuff out with this. You are going to use Crippling Wave Mango 255% weapon damage as fire to enemies in front of you. This is why you are going for fire damage. And then you are using Breath of Heaven infused with light. To go over stats that you're looking for, you're looking at for you're looking for 50% plus crit chance, preferably around 52-53. You want over 400% crit damage, preferably somewhere around 450 and you are looking for area damage somewhere in the vicinity of 140 to 150 percent. Area damage is king with generator builds because you are just wrecking everything. Cooldown reduction could be higher but I need the survivability. Fire damage you're looking for the full 40 percent. 20% from your bracers, 20% from your amulet, that is what you are looking for. And then your sweeping wind damage from your Kayashiro soul, which is going to give you a bonus to your damage as well. You want that closer to the full 125, but we'll work from there. You're going to look for high vite on all your gear as well, because like I said, this build and the normal raiment spirit generator build is wicked, wicked squishy. Alright, so on to our passives. You're going to be using Seize the Initiative. You're going to be using Beacon of Yitar. Seize the Initiative gives you 30% attack speed when attacking enemies above 75% for 4 seconds. Beacon of Yitar reduces all cooldowns by 20%. You could actually use Exalted Soul if you didn't worry about your cooldowns at all. Um, which will give you 50 more spirit 
and increase your spirit regen, which is also negligible. But that 50 spirit is going to add to your damage because you're going to get 75% more damage as you go up. And it's going to be pretty beast on the damage there. Um, alacrity is very necessary. 15% increased attack speed to your spirit generators as well as harmony is very necessary. 40% of your single elemental res is applied to all res. You definitely want this and you definitely want secondary res on all of your gear. Alright, so Paragon points. For your core, you're looking for max spirit, movement speed to cap, and the rest in dex if you need it. You could put some points in Vitality, but Dex is probably going to be more helpful both on the damage front and the damage mitigation, because remember that Dex does give us armor. On your offense, you are looking for attack speed, crit chance, crit damage, then cooldown. This was a test I was doing here. But on defense, you are looking for resist all, life, armor, life regen. On utility, you are looking for area damage because area damage is king with spirit generator builds. And then you are looking for life per hit, resource cost reduction, and gold fine. So, there you guys have it. That is my Raymond Firestorm generator build for Season 7. Hopefully you guys check this out. I do enjoy the build very much. I enjoy it in group play and pushing GRs. Um, it's a pretty decent build. Make sure you check it out and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button in the comments section below. Make sure you tell me what you think of this build, what you think of the guide, and if you got any input as well. And feel free to just talk about Season 7 in general, what you like, what you dislike. Make sure you check out my weekly top 10 solo monk leaderboard recaps as well as my weekly top five four man leaderboard recaps in which i discuss the current meta and the top five groups and what they are running so i release those every friday hit that subscribe button for notifications for that and hope you guys enjoyed this guide you guys have a great day peace